Now what we did in the previous video was we organized all of these nice RGB codes right here into this eight by seven grid, which is effectively our color palette. We selected them as we've done right here. And then we went up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon under settings into configure. And right over here under color palettes, we hit this button and imported the colors from Excel. Now that we have these set, as a palette, we want to know how to push them out to others in our organization. So this color palette is now set for us, but as an administrator, we'd want to push it out to others at the organization. And this is a step that a lot of people forget with Macabacus. Now we want to go to the Macabacus section of the ribbon right here under settings. Instead of going into configure, we're going to go down here where it says share. And this share settings dialog box comes up. We only have this thing checked off for shared libraries, but now we want to check color palette and now click the publish button and we get a positive confirmation back that these share settings have been updated. We click OK and then we're going to close. And this now means that the color palette is available to all users at the organization. So now that we've pushed this color palette out, it means that other users, what they're going to see is when they go up into settings and into configure, they're just going to see this new palette with all of these RGB codes that we've put in place. Now what we can do is just close out of this dialog box and take a look at the other places where other users are going to see this color palette come up in the Macabacus interface. Now let's think from the perspective of other users in the organization. As they're working in Excel, they're likely going to be up here on the Macabica section of the ribbon, and they're going to be utilizing this color section quite a bit. When we go in, say, to the top and we want to change a font color, we're going to see this color palette come up. Same thing if we look just below there at the fill color, the color palette's coming up, and finally, right here, the border color, it's also going to come up. So this palette is now going to be used by all users in the organization and will help to ensure good brand compliance. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.